Today I'm covering a huge problem with Battleborn batteries. If you have one of these, it might not be safe to use, so please watch the video. The problem that people are reporting is the main positive terminal is overheating. So one of my forum members sent one out so I could test it myself. I connected a charger and in a few minutes it was already overheating. So I continued the test and I got it up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit on this terminal. That is not okay. And then it would randomly cut off. It would totally disconnect power. And I was like, what is going on? So I went through the forum post and the messages from other members experiencing this, and they said that if you push the terminal to the side, it will make connection inside and it will start charging or discharging again. So we have a bad connection inside the battery, and not only is it causing it to overheat, but it's also causing it to intermittently disconnect. This problem is so common that the original poster on the forum with this issue, he has three of these batteries and it's doing it on all three of them. Also, a big thank you to the forum member for shipping this out. This one is not open. And look at the color of the epoxy. This comes bright red and it's so damaged by heat that it's a different color now and it's cracking. Guys, it got so hot it melted the plastic cell holders. And here is the problem. The main terminal is connected with this bolt and these nuts. And over time, it works itself loose especially for mobile applications. I could see if this is in a van or an RV, this is gonna go loose much faster. I wonder what Battleborn will do to fix this. Also, it's probably overheating these cells. Looks like all of these are loose, actually. And all the current has to go through this bolt because this is not touching the bus bar. That is dangerous. If you have these in your possession, I don't think you should use them. And this one's loose too. Oh, but this one won't overheat because the conductors are connected directly to the terminal. But on this one, that little bolt is all that's holding it together so it has a good electrical connection. That is scary. That is not good. Holy cow, I didn't know it was that bad. And all the temperatures that I recorded were on the outside of the pack. Imagine how hot it's getting inside to actually melt plastic. There's deformation all the way over here on the BMS holder. That is a lot of heat. Jeez, this whole bus bar changed color compared to the other bus bar. And if this is changing color and it's connected to these cells, yeah, this is so bad. Yeah, this is dangerous, guys. If you have one of these, take it out of your system. This is not safe to use. I hope Battleborn comes out with a solution because they need to. This is not okay. I think they should return all of them and offer a solution. Now, if you have this issue, please post it in the comments or on the forum. Post pictures of your issues or whatever else. Also, if you ever have a problem with any solar product ever, please send it my way and I'll make a video. I'll do all the proper testing, I'll rip it apart, and I'll find a solution. For this, there is no solution. You need to remove this from your system. This is not safe to use. So I hope you liked the video and I will see you in the next one. I've been off for a while because I hurt my foot really bad, but I'm actually working on videos. They're just really hard to make. I had to make this video because this is a safety problem. So yeah, I hope you liked the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.